We are on the south rim of the Grand Canyon on a beautiful February day, me, Christoph, and Matt. And today we'll be running down the Bright Angel Trail, crossing the river, down a little bit more across the river and up the South Kaibab Trail. I'm hoping this is no repeat of my rim to rim to rim, no puking will be involved, and that this can just be a joyous 20 miler. The weather's great, couldn't have asked for better weather. Maybe five degrees warmer if I really want to complain. But I'm here with Matt and Kristoff, and we're gonna get st uh, started, and I guarantee you by the end of today, we will be very sore, since this will be the longest I've run in about two and a half months. I'm seasonally confused right now because I'm either getting powder shots in the face and now I'm running in shorts. And I was so surprised at how gross and white my legs were. They have not seen sun in honestly like three months. So uh, all kind of new terrain for me. Way excited to see if I can actually run um, the digits today, which are gonna be 20 plus and maybe close to 5,000 feet of vert. I'm gonna put all predictions on hold for now and I'll check in in about 10 miles because it takes me about 10 miles to really gauge how the day is gonna go. You know, Matt Matt says 10 miles is when he warms up. I think by 10 miles, we'll see if Kristoff's gonna warm up at all. coming down Bright Angel and it's not as must not be as bright as the name indicates because it's a sheet of ice at least in the center of the trail we've been told by others we're about to get past all this ice but we've been walking down a lot of it people have been giving us looks like we're foolish to be running yeah that's the look I've been getting I am making a good mental note that for every vertical foot down that I go, it's have to go up, so. come down about three quarters of the way and this isn't the kind of hill I like to run down quickly this is a slow watch your step kind of trail with lots of odd place logs and boulders but we're almost through the river or at least we're fairly close All right, we've made it to the Binding, Colorado. And you know, if any part of this run is gonna make me sore, it's gonna be that downhill, because that blasted my quads pretty hard. And I feel like the word blasted is an appropriate word in this case. It's amazing out here, and it's all that much more amazing that it's not 115. Um, if it was 115, I would be puking like the guy on that sign. So far, it's just been a great day out, and I hope that it continues to be that way. Now we're just gonna run along the river until we get to the first bridge where we'll cross towards Phantom Ranch. Then we'll go on the other side for a little bit and then we'll cross again and go up South Kaibab. That was a long downhill, but you can't really go much lower. I'm feeling pretty good. That feeling's gonna dissipate as soon as we start going back uphill. Because we've, of course, we've chosen the Kaibab Trail to go up, which I've done once before and it wasn't pleasant the first time. And I don't think much has changed in the last two years. So. I'll have to be honest, it's like, it does take your breath away. There are like some places that, you know, you're like, that's pretty cool. But there like are a handful of places in the United States where when you look at it, you're just, it really does take your breath away. And 
the top of the Grand Canyon was one of those, but the bottom of the Grand Canyon, just to see every single layer coming down and knowing how much time it took and then how much elevation you lose. I don't know, it's just really cool for me. So like every step is brand new. So I, I don't know what to expect. And that's probably one of my favorite reasons for getting out and seeing new places is just like that newness. You really feel like you're exploring. It's not like, oh, I'm doing this again. I just, I feel like a little kid out here, it's awesome. All right, we're just wrapping up lunch here at this campground on the other side of the bridge on the uh, Phantom Ranch side of the Colorado. Now that we've had a uh, sandwich or two, we're gonna run down the trail, catch the other bridge and go up about six miles and 5,000 feet um, to the south rim. All we have left is about 5,500 feet of climbing up a really steep trail. But I do take solace in the fact that as soon as we get to the rim, I can get on a shuttle and just drive back to where we started and Danny and Matt can keep running so they can get their, their numbers they're shooting for. I'm a numbers guy and it's weird seeing 10 miles, but we've only climbed 245 feet. And all of those 245 feet have been those little bathroom breaks up off the trail for Kristoff. So I think we've actually climbed probably under 100 feet. I hated running downhill. I'm excited to finally be running uphill where I don't need all of my organs jostling around and all the blood in my body, like 90% of it in my toes and ankles. It's just... All right, we're at the second bridge. Now we just have to cross this into that tunnel and then go way, way back up there. We're gonna try and run as much of this as we can. been running non-stop since the bridge and on something like this I feel like we have two gears one is a super fast walk yeah. the other is a super slow run yeah. and it's just a matter of which one feels more comfortable at the time and when you have the energy the slow run tends to be more enjoyable than the fast walk but my guess is we'll be executing the fast walk by the time we get near the rim. But for now, we're doing the old man shuffle. That's 4,000 vert and climbing, 1,000 to go or less. Temperature's dropping, it's getting windy, and the sun's going down. You can see the Grand Canyon. We're way down in that. Not just that bottom, like another 1,000, 1,500 feet off of that. back on the ice, which means we're close to the rim. And no come aparts yet. If someone's gonna 
have one they need to have it real soon because we are almost to the top. All right, we made it up South Kaibab. Uh, we're at about 18 and something miles. Now we just have to run along this paved trail on the rim and go back to our starting point. But what an amazing 20 miler with about 5,000 or so feet of climbing. This place is really hard to capture on video. The scale is so enormous. It's something else, the otherworldly. Today was one of those days where you can be fully distracted by the beauty and you really, the miles just, you know, melt off. And uh, that, that really was today for me at least. The joy and everything was how pretty it was. That's the Bright Angel South Kaibab Loop. If you're ever nearby, for sure check it out.